the four horsemen of a one-man army. Let's see if these are valid or not. First off, we have Jiren, and I ain't gonna lie, this is valid, this is valid. This is this is the only man, the only being in Dragon Ball history to have Goku team up with Frieza, the opposition. We gotta team up with the ops to beat this guy? He, he's, he's dangerous. Next on the list, we have Kaido, and this is pretty valid. You know, he did get jumped by some samurai. You know, he did have to whoop his daughter. He did beat a magical crackhead three times. And then, you know, the only reason why he lost was to Toon Force. We all know that. He deserves to be on this list. We have Madara Uchiha. Now, it's crazy because we didn't even know this Madara Uchiha was Madara Uchiha. We thought Madara Uchiha was Madara Uchiha before Madara Uchiha was Madara Uchiha. Tongue twisted. Yeah, but this, this makes sense, you know. Um, we all know what happened in the Shinobi Alliance. And that wasn't even his full power, too. And he also whooped the five Kage, so yeah, that's, that's good, that's good. Last person on this list, we have Ryoma Sukuna. He deserves to be on this list. I wouldn't say he's a one-man army. I'm more like, you know, a little bit of plum, but it's, it's debatable. We do have something called the Sukuna cycle where a character is introduced and then their powers are explained and then Sukuna spreads his ass cheeks open like it's you know we've, we've been through this for almost a year so he kind of deserves to be on this list.